Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Built. My name is Kelly. I'm Trevor. And today we're gonna talk about storage. If you go out off-roading, adventuring, whatever you wanna call it, and you take your recovery gear, your first aid equipment, your food and stuff like that, it gets pretty crowded in the back of a 4Runner. And today we're gonna fix all those issues with Iron Man 4x4 drawer system, and it's gonna be amazing. Amazing. I've already installed this once. I threw it in late at night, uh, right before our trip on the Arizona BDR. I wanted to go over what I did. Using the simple hardware, I just threw in a U-bolt, a turnbuckle, and a link on all four corners to attach it into the factory tie-down points. And this allows quick and easy, just getting it in, tying it down, and it is not going anywhere. So it can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. But for right now, this is what I have and it works fantastic. We did sections one through four of the Arizona BDR with zero movement. No rattles, squeaks, shakes, nothing on this. So great so far. There's a couple ways to mount onto this. You can use the factory hardware by just mounting up a bolt to this and getting hardware off that. However, this is for attaching onto the wing set, uh, which eventually will go on there. Not sure exactly how yet, but I will be figuring that out. So what I did is drilled two holes in here and just put U-bolts in there. And that gives me a rock solid connection onto the drawer system, then the shackle and the link. Four U-bolts match up to the locations of the factory tie downs. That way there's no additional mounting or anything like that from underneath the body or trying to find some saw locations. Those points are rock solid. The install process on this is super simple. Once you get the U-bolt bolted in, all the hardware linked up, just lift it up with a friend, buddy left or a brother, whatever, and throw it in the back of the forerunner. That's it. All right, let's do this. Do it. Ready? Do it. All right, do it. Lift with your back. Lift and twist. Oh, how much is this weigh? Uh, 138 pounds. Oh, that's yeah. heavier. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's pretty easy. Now that the drawer system is in the back of the Forerunner, all we have to do is attach the hardware to the factory tie down points. That is the link tightening that down, then to the turnbuckle, tightening that down, and that's it. The nice thing about this system is that you can kind of position it anywhere you want in this. I have it offset a little bit to the left to give more support to the fridge. And then on this side, I have a little bit more storage down below. You can put it anywhere you want. Also, if you're interested in the hardware, you can find that in the link in the description below. All right, first thing you wanna do is make sure that the turnbuckle can reach the tie down point. Once the tie down point, the link is around the tie down point, just go ahead and lock that up good and tight. Then from there, just tightening up the turnbuckle, make sure you're going the right way. And then as you're Tighten it and you go as far as you can get it by hand. And then you can take a wrench, put it in the middle to tighten it more. But then take on this turnbuckle, we have a 10 millimeter nut. I want to get those against it. And you want to make sure to tighten those to the center of the turnbuckle really well because. If not, this can back out and your drawer can come loose. As 
as you can see on this side, I have mostly my recovery gear in here. In the very back uh, that doesn't come out um, is a tool bag with tools that I hardly ever use but are always there just in case I ever need them. From this point on is all recovery gear. I have my kinetic straps, my tree savers, I've got my tire repair kit, I've got my winch controller and lead in here, my uh, in deflate um, air system, all easily accessible, ready to go in need of recovery or airing up and airing down, which we do every time we go on and off the trail. On this side, I have my tool roll and a waterproof blanket for picnics, laying out, anything like that. Also, this is where we keep all of our kitchen items. So I have my cook set in here, uh, plates, and first aid kit. And also, there's tons of space in here that we pack with paper towel, any of our dry food and anything. We'll just jam it in here and it's good to go completely out of the way instead of having another bin in the back with all of our dry food. It is working really well. So this is what the back end is gonna look like for a majority of the time, minus puppers or bags, depending on what kind of trip we're going on. As you can see, there is tons of space back here. Pairing the drawer system with the Blue Ridge Overland gear attic, there is now tons of gear. The kids can put jackets, pillows, any soft goods up there or little packs up top. And now we have tons of gear room back here. Awesome setup. Not only is there a ton of gear room back here, however, it's efficiency of use of what I have. So adding the drawers gives me usable space. I can get to things a lot more easier. I mean, ease of use, hands down, can't beat a drawer system. Not only do I have a ton of space back here, with the drawer system, I also have a lot more usable space. When I open up a drawer, I have easy access to all of my recovery gear. I can grab something and go faster and more efficient. I mean, it is an amazing setup. When I have it set up for cooking, I have all of my cooking gear and food right here. So everything is just handy. I don't have to pull out bins, dig through things and try to find what I need for that moment. All right guys, so that wraps up Trev's drawer system from Ironman 4x4. It really is an impressive system. I highly recommend if you are in the market for double drawers or single drawers, did they make a single drawer? Yeah, so they have two options. They have a dual drawer and they have a single drawer. Uh, I went with the two drawer, so that way the drawers aren't gonna be as heavy. And also to note, each drawer on this has a 200 pound weight limit. I mean, I can pretty much get in one of these drawers and it shouldn't break, shouldn't depending on what I eat that day. <laughs> also, they come in different lengths. For my use, I have the boys sitting in the back seat, so I have the shortest, which is a 900 millimeter drawer length. However, they have three other options. Uh, so if you want, if you don't use your back seats and you want longer drawers, you can actually put the seats down and have a full length system coming down. So you got a lot, lot more drawer storage at that point. Uh, you could probably sleep on top. Yeah, that is a lot of versatility. Yeah. All right, guys, well, that wraps it up. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. I think that was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, oh out crikey. That. So we've done section one through four. No, I said so, didn't I? You did. Yeah. <laughs> so you did. So I did. <laughs> <laughs> to the mounting. That mount, oh my God. Why is that a tongue twister? Blah, blah, blah. All right. Hey, you want your face in there or no? <laughs> just, just here. It's, it's the most important part. <laughs> got distracted. I thought a car was coming, but it didn't. You got right. things. I got things. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> My mechanics rule. Mechanics rule. <laughs> mechanics rule. Rule. <laughs> you guys rule. Of course, all the times that I'm screwing up, there's no cars. Every time I'm like, okay, I'm gonna nail it. Tons of cars. How does it look with the arm up? Does it look, does it look chill? Like you wanna hang out with me? You can't really see the fridge though. Nailed it. Nailed it. That's, that was the thing. All right.
I almost said this is what the ass end is gonna look like. But <laughs> it was like what right the ass looks like. This is what the ass looks like. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> All right. Great job, Tiger Team. <laughs> so, so. Hi. <laughs>